It's Thursday night with your boys, T and C. Here we are, and uh, we're going to do some blended scotch. Blended scotch. We don't really review blended scotch very often. Just We do have a video called, uh, What's the Best Blended Scotch? That's true, so you can check that out. Um, but now we're going to... We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna motor through some of those bottles. We're gonna get into some yeah. details about these guys. Oh, you know what else we have tonight? <laughs> um, and a reason for you to stick around after the commercial break is uh, viewer comments. So if you ever comment on any of our videos, you should stick around, find out if we bring up your comment today. Yeah, do we use you? Scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Okay, so let's uh, pull out the bottle that we're reviewing. You guys know and love the Grants. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Grants Cask Edition Sherry Cask. So, uh... Grants is like pretty much widely available and like everyone's uncle drinks this stuff. Everyone's <laughs> uncle. I'd say like my uncles. Right. Everyone. All like, of them? All of my uncles. Uh, grandparents. They would always have a bottle of Grants in the cupboard. There you go. Because blended whiskeys are cheap. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a really, really good thing. And uncles are cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time. Everyone's or, uncle. Aren't you an uncle now? I'm officially an uncle. Wow. Yeah. Did you become cheap? <laughs> I'm only <laughs> buying blended whiskey from now on. <laughs> yeah. Um, but this is one of the more iconic brands. Let's have of, a quick uh, sip. Yeah, let's have a quick sip. Sure. Hold on. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to give you a little bit of history about this. Do it quick. Not, we not get a viewer comments. This one, I'm not even going to give you very much, but this one is... Like I said, it's one of the most highly sold, highly recognizable mm -hmm. bottles uh, of, of blended whiskey out there. Mm -hmm. Sold in 180 countries. Mm. Um, it's got the same kind of triangle bottle as the Glenfiddich, mm. which the Glenfiddich, like this guy right here, look at same triangle style bottle. Oh. Ah, owned by William Grant and Sons, oh, there hence you the name Grant's. Right? Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It's all coming together. Same with Belveni. They're all basically on the same property. Okay. Um, they're the oldest family-owned blended whiskey out there. Mm. Um, William Grant's and Sons is the third largest whiskey brand. What are, Do you know what the top two are? Uh, I'm trying to think back to our video. <laughs> but the, I think the video was about just the exact Yeah, products. probably exact. I'm, I'm guessing, guessing Beam Suntory is going to be Or like there. Jack Daniels or something. Uh, Diageo. Yeah. Diageo. Anyways, um... I'm, you can I'm, I'm, fact check that's, us that's on. That's fine. You know what? We don't have to go into... Beam it. Suntory and Diageo find an answer. <laughs> okay. Eh, or maybe it's a ding. I don't know. Let's get right into some of these viewer comments because... because yeah, what you just did was boring. Yeah, okay. okay. History. Who cares about history? You're, let's go. Oh, the sealed envelope. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, viewer comments. Today we have four viewer comments, so you're probably going to have to fast forward about two minutes if you don't want to watch this. But this is kind of this is exciting. Usually, this yeah, is the exciting highlight. for me. Um, we will review the whiskey at some point. Yeah. So uh, these ones today, the theme is mostly people dissing on us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So... From with regards to our smooth ambler unboxing, aka the wet turd unboxing, mm -hmm. um, Cato writes, and Cato's been writing a lot lately. Thanks for that, Cato. Thanks, Cato. Uh, Cato writes that uncorking sucked. Uh, is it nice? Is it really nice? Is it fucking good? Or damn good shit? I'm so confused. Well. Do you think that the most confusing part was the fact that you described that whiskey as tasting like the beginning of a Hall & Oates song? <laughs> if he thought that damn good shit was confusing, I believe you also described it as... It's pretty accurate. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Cato. Okay, um, 
Or breaking glass sound. Or breaking glass sound. Yep. Uh, with regard to our video whiskey of the year, 2017. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. You guys should check that oh, out. Oh, you should. 41 Brutus 41 writes, oh. recommending a whiskey that I cannot find anywhere. Thanks. Yeah. Well, a lot of our whiskey of the year this year, I hate to say it, but they were ones that are kind of rarities in our yeah, collection. 41 Brutus 41. We actually recommended three whiskeys you can't find anywhere. So. Yeah, so... There don't don't tell us the wrong. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Moving um, on. Uh, halfway there. In reference to Old Forester Bourbon Unboxing, mm. Triple Cap writes, I'm trying to put this delicately, but geez, please buy C a new flannel shirt. To which I replied, how come nobody gives Ralphie any shit for wearing the same clothes for seven years? And Triple Cap <laughs> replied back to me saying... Dude, there's a stain on your jeans at 3 minutes and 50 seconds. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm pretty sure this is the same thing. <laughs> Anyways, Triple Cap, no. it's good to uh, have you on the show. Yeah. We, Virtually we, we love you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, moving um, on. With regards to Van Winkle, 12-year-old, mm. James McDonald writes, You guys talk too much. Just review the goddamn bourbon. That's fair. We haven't even gotten into our tasty notes yet. <laughs> Wait till you see this video, James. Okay. Oh. Oh, Thank you for all your comments. Um, write something witty or shitty or something, and we might feature you. We've got another viewer comments coming up in another upcoming video. Too. Yeah, we, we respond to every comment mm -hmm. that's, well, Tihan, sometimes we don't respond to you. Let's, let's, get, let's be real. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. you don't understand what you're writing. Okay, but since we didn't listen to the song before we started viewer comments, yeah. let's listen to her as an outro. Okay, outro version. Do comments, do comments, do comments, do comments. Yeah. Cool. I okay. really like that song. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah. Okay. It's a jam. Um, we need more songs. Okay. okay. Uh, Color, nose, taste, finish, and viscosity. That's what we review here on Trending and See. Let's do it. Color. I actually... I'm surprised that this isn't as fake as it normally would look. It's not as tanned. Uh, it's kind of that golden hay, that uh, yeah, straw, it really is. the golden straw. There's there's going to be E-150A in, in this, most likely. A little bit. But it's not a, a ton. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. <laughs> right, 50 cent over here. Okay. Uh, 50 cent. <laughs> okay. Okay, anyways. Nose. Let's we did color nose. Okay. What are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> very malty, yeah, okay. a little bit of that sherry. When you say it, very, <laughs> very let's malty. Not, let's put that into context. It's okay, malty as in the sense that it's kind of like a little bit chocolatey. It's a little bit cereal grain like. Um, I just, that's how what I think of when I think of malty. I just mean the fact that when you say very, we're not in like the level of single malts here. Where no, like no. the smells blast you. No, These, for sure. This it's much more subtle here. Right? When you say very, very, it's very in comparison to other blends. It's, but it's funny because with a lot of blends, I do find this weird, they're all very similar because they all mm. have that kind of, maybe it's not malty, it's grainy mm. or cereal flavor. It has this kind of just, they all, Blended behave, scotchiness. Be, they all behave similar. Yeah, fair enough. Um, when you throw 30 different whiskeys into, a, you know, a barrel. Yeah, yeah. Depending on how you have heated ones in there or not, yeah. you know they're gonna they're gonna start tasting the same, right? So they? chances are, Grants they use Glenfiddich in their whiskeys as one of the mainstay single malts. Right. Probably a little bit of Bel Belveni as well. Um, anyways, more on the nose. There is this slight kind of buttercream icing. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice little sweetness to it there. A little. A little fruitiness to it. A mm -hmm. little appleiness. I get an apple. Is that Glenfiddich? Glenfiddich apple. has that apple, but this is more like. Like I've, I've said this before recently, but like a baked spice kind of apple to okay. it. Like a little bit of that cinnamon and nutmeg in there. So <laughs> this being a sherry whiskey, it's not a big mm -hmm. blast in the face of sherry, especially if you're comparing it to like a single malt that's been sherry. I but it, get it is there. there. Though, yeah. It is there. It's just much more subtle. Everything about a blended scotch is more subtle. Yeah, and I think, so a lot of people, blended scotch makes up the the most sales like 90%. for yeah for scotch so a lot of people out there because they don't want to spend any you know 60 to 100 dollars on a single One bottle, bottle yeah. of whiskey when you can spend what 23 <laughs> 23 bucks for this guy um so 
you know, quantity versus quality. So they make these easily palatable and easily mm -hmm. accessible. To the There's masses. not a ton of character in a lot of these ones, but Grant's has held its own it's for many nice. years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's get to taste. Let's taste it. I get a little bit of a smoked kind of applewood, quite sugary, quite grainy again in the flavor. Um, <laughs> I get a little bit of that frosted, like frosted mini wheats, mm. but the frosting, okay. the frosting okay. part, okay. you know? It's that icing sugar kind of powdery, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. powdery, grainy sugariness. Yeah. What are you getting? Mm. That's a good question. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> no. Um, for the fruit aspect of things, we talk about the apple sometimes yeah. with Glenfiddich. We do. There is a little bit of, on this one, a little bit of apricot, I find. Hmm. Anyway. You know what? Some people are telling us to get to the review and review it, but who cares? Who cares what we do? Who cares what we think it tastes like? It's equally crappy regardless of where we are <laughs> in the video. Minute one or minute 15. Yeah. Same shit. <laughs> They're either all good, if you think of it that way. It's I'm a glass half full kind of a guy, so... Do you think people enjoy good. it? Are you talking about the whiskey or our videos? Our videos. Our videos? They're, They're all okay. <laughs> We're all pretty good. You've subscribed now. I mean, yeah, you're here now. Average. Yeah. Let's finish it out. Okay. Anyway, on the finish, you kind of said something earlier that Did uh, I? got my attention, and it has that... Um, what did you say? Not grainy, but... Uh, like almost kind of chalky, kind oh, of the powdery, powdery, powdered sugar, yeah, kind of powdered thing. sugar, kind of a yeah. finish to it. A little granulated, mm -hmm. but easily accessible. I highly suggest if you guys are just getting into whiskey, you don't want to spend that money. Go get a bottle of Grants. There's, it's not going to do you harm. Yeah. You're only out twenty three bucks or whatever. Probably in the states, it's like I don't know. I think they still three dollars. I still think they still pay reasonably mm -hmm. similar prices on Scotch because they got to import yeah. it there too. But yeah, it's probably less than twenty three dollars. So yeah, for sure. Probably like fifteen or twelve or something. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, not bad. Not bad. Overall, not bad. Overall, pretty good. Just We're like not... our videos. Not bad. <laughs> um, what was that? There's a town in the United States. I think it's Childress, Texas, and oh. the, I think the slogan was like, like going through, and there's the sign for the town. It's like. Not bad. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. It was, and it was okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you went through there. Yeah, I went through oh. there. Anyway, uh, let's kind of wrap this video up. We're not going to score these guys because these these, uh, these blended ones are... They're not going to be on the scale where our other ones yeah, yeah. that we review usually are. Yeah, it's not fair to compare and contrast to single malts yeah. or really good quality bourbons. And Basically like what we're doing here is a thumbs up, <coughs> thumbs down, and Grant's is uh, going to get a Huge thumbs, thumbs up. up. I mean, it's in most uncle or grandparents' cupboards, so if yeah. you don't want to buy a bottle, just have a sample of theirs. Go to your time. uncle's house. Yeah. Cool. Anyway. Okay, so thanks for joining us, uh, Trini and C. Videos on Tuesdays. Saturdays. Saturdays Thursdays. and Thursdays. Yeah. Um, our weekday videos are at 6 o'clock, yeah. and our weekend videos are 4 o'clock. Yeah, there you go. Easy Pacific enough. Standard Time. Like it. Subscribe.